Hey, it's Josh over JNH. Today we're taking a look at the Daiwa Coastal TWS bait casting reels. This is the CL TW 200 HS. You basically make this reel in just one model. You got a right hand and a, and a left hand. I guess that's two models, but same exact reel. It's uh, made for salt water. It's a salt water bait casting. You got uh, all aluminum construction. Pretty reel. The blue looks really great with the black. And you know, with generally with Daiwa blue indicates salt water. So if you were concerned that maybe this wasn't a salt water reel, Hopefully that blue will uh, will let you know that it is. The main features of this, the reason why it's a saltwater reel, is it's all aluminum construction and it's got seven corrosion resistant ball bearings, so it's going to hold up well. All you have to do is keep it clean, and it should keep functioning for years and years and years. First thing I noticed about this reel is a nice, really long handle. You can see how how wide it is between there. It's a hundred millimeter swept handle, and you got these. I guess I call them mini power knobs, but they're really comfortable. They're made out of EVA. So uh, they're super lightweight, which I'm a huge fan of. The lighter, the better. And of course, if you get them wet or you get bait on there, you don't have to worry about it. It's got the ergonomic star drag, which has you know a million little clickable settings. And it's also nice and tight. So you know if you do bump it, you don't have to worry about you know your drag spinning off on you. On this side, you got your cast control system, your magnetic cast control right there, which is easy to adjust. Not so easy when I'm holding it in this position, but really easy to adjust so you can make fine fine tune your casts, make you know those long accurate casts that you need to make. Push button puts it into free spool. You know, and based on how you have the um, the cast control set is how this uh, oh, this thing is gonna spin. I think I have the cast control all the way on. But uh, great casting reel. Uh, I think it was designed for the West Coast guys for you know doing like those high speed uh, baits or ripping in baits for uh, for calico bass. So it's got a 7.3 to 1 gear ratio, which for us over here in the Northeast is kind of fast, but it's still good if you're going to do weak fish or uh, fluke fishing or redfish or anything in that size, you know, inshore fishing. Uh, Dio also put their TWS uh, level one system, which you can see right there, the T wing. You push that, it opens it up. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow more space for. Uh, for the line to go out so that you don't have to worry about it traveling all the way back and forth. It's going to be contained in there and um, it's just going to uh, cast really well. It's going to improve your casts. And you just turn the handle to engage it. It's really smooth, a uh, really well made reel. And um, again, it's going to be very popular for up here for the guys weak fishing and and, uh, and fluke fishing and you know down south the redfish guys. Uh, it weighs only 8.1 ounces so it's nice and light and you, know, you can fish this thing all day without getting tired. It's going to hold uh, almost 200 yards of 40 pound test braid, so more than enough for that inshore type fishing. And it's got that, uh, you know, that die was top of the line ultimate carbon, uh, ultimate tournament carbon drag system, you know, 15.4 uh, pounds of drag at max. So if you're looking for a new saltwater bait casting reel, you want something lightweight that's going to hold up over time in the salt water, this is definitely a great option. Retail on this is just under $230. And, uh, they're in stock and available at JNA. So check it out. It's the Daiwa Coastal TWS Bait Casting Rail Model CLTW200HS. Get one at JNH.com.